Okay, here's another example of a piecewise function, and this one has a pretty interesting graph. Look at the definition. There are two pieces. The first piece says that we will use this expression, 1 half x minus 1, to compute the value of the function whenever x is not equal to 4. So this one value of 4 is the key value. When x equals 4, the function simply has a value of 3. As long as x is not equal to 4, the value will be computed with, with this expression. And this is just a line. So let's think about this line. 1 half x minus 1. It has a slope of 1 half and a y-intercept of negative 1. So we can graph that. y-intercept of negative 1 and a slope of 1 half means we go up 1 over 2. And we can graph this. So let's start graphing this. But when we get here to 4, to x equals 4, we can't graph that point. This point right here we can't put on the graph because we're told in the definition that this is the function, 1 half x minus 1, as long as x is not equal to 4. So we have to put a little hole in the graph right there. So this line goes on and on in both directions, but there's that one little piece omitted from it right there. And we're told that if x equals 4, the function has a value of 3. So right there at x equals 4, the graph has a value of 3, and that's this point right up there. So this function is simply a line right there, but that line has a, one infinitely small gap in it. Now obviously I can't draw this infinitely small. This is just the, the way we represent that single missing point. This line is a perfectly continuous line except at one little tiny infinitely small point. And at that x value, the, the function has a value of 3 instead, right up there. So that point just sits up there all by itself. Okay, example 8. In this case, we're shown a graph of a function, and we're told to write the definition for the function shown. Well, this is in two pieces, so we just need to be able to look at these, these lines on this graph and discern what, what uh, equation represent those, represents those lines and for what x values those equations apply. So this is going to be a piecewise function, so we'll write f of x equals, and we'll put our curly braces, and there will be two pieces. Now let's think about this first line right here. Let's imagine that line that I just sketched in yellow. If you continue the trend here, you see that this line has a y-intercept of 4, and you can see the slope. From any point, we go up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2. So this line has a slope of 1 half and a y-intercept of 4. So I say that my function is 1 half x plus 4, and that equation applies whenever x is less than negative 2. So I just need to write that. x is less than negative 2. And I don't put a less than or equal to because I see a little open circle on my graph right there. If x is equal to 2, right here, this is the value of the function right there. So if x is equal to negative 2 or greater than, then I'm along this line here. And this is pretty easy. You can see the y-intercept there is 2. And again, the slope is 1 half. We go up 1 over 2, up 1 over 2, and so on. So this line is 1 half x plus 2. So let's write that. 1 half x plus 2 if x is greater than or equal to negative 2. And that's it. That's the definition of the piecewise function shown in the graph here. Two pieces, one piece representing one section of the function and another, another definition for the other piece of the function. And one more example. Write the definition for the function shown. Okay, a function is in two pieces here. We can see that on the graph, and they're both lines. So we're going to make a, a definition for a piecewise function here. f of x will be, and let's do the one on the left first. We could do either one first. It doesn't matter. But we'll just work left to right, since, since that's the way we normally think about functions, left to right. So the critical value here is x equals positive 1. There's one graph when x is to the left of that and one graph when x is to the right. 
So when x is to the left of that, this is pretty easy to see. We have a, a y-intercept of 2 and a slope of negative 1. So this is going to be negative 1x, or just negative x, plus 2. And that's the case if x is less than or equal to 1. And I put the less than or equal because we have a closed circle right there. This point is on the graph. And then if x is greater than 1, I'm along this line. And extending this line, let's see, doing that carefully, you can see I get a y-intercept of uh, negative 3. And this line has a slope of 2. I go up 2 over 1 between any two points on that graph. So that line, we said, has a slope of 2 and a y-intercept of negative 3. So that's 2x minus 3. And that's the case if x is greater than 1. And that's a greater than, not a greater than or equal to, right there, because we have an open circle right there. So once again, another piecewise function. And we write the definition for each piece and specify the appropriate domain for each piece.